Start your computations. Hey y'all, I hope you're doing super super well. Today is going to be a chill draw and chat video where I'll talk about what's currently going on in my life, some goals for 2021, and a little background on the piece I'm working on. So yeah, let's just get into it. As far as current life things go, I'm doing pretty okay. I've started to prioritize sleep more, which is kind of paying off, but I've also been attempting to remain as productive as possible for the next few months. I'll be focusing on graduating high school and finishing my senior year. I'm considering quitting my job because I do still live with my parents and I'm not super in need of money right now. So any revenue I make right now is pretty much just going into savings or being used for gas or other life stuff. Oh yeah, big life update. I got into one of the two schools I applied to. I'm still on the fence about even going to college while we're still in a panorama. Like, is it worth it to pay normal tuition for virtual classes? It's definitely not the same as learning in person, so I might not necessarily be getting the bang for my book. I might want to actually aim for taking some kind of arts pathway, but I'm not 100% set on that idea because it's really a hit or miss when you go to school for art from what I've observed. The art industry is pretty vast, but it doesn't always work out for everyone, you know? Other life stuff. Um, wh what is going on? What is going on? I have been trying to practice more mindfulness, like meditating, doing breathing exercises every day, and I've been slightly more motivated to exercise and eat healthier. I've been watching a lot of those morning routine videos, which are really like motivating and inspiring. It probably would have been wiser to list some goals back in January, but this is cool, better late than never. So since I've been using Notion recently, I made a checklist or to-do list, if you want to call it that, of goals, kind of like a bucket list, but for the year. I've already checked off a few because of some unexpected little surprises in the past month and a half, but anyway, my first goal is to read five books recreationally by the end of the year. Reading has not been my strong suit for school, which definitely made me stray away from reading for fun. Right now, I'm reading The Five People You Meet in Heaven by Mitch Albom, and it's pretty nice so far. I'm very much enjoying it, 10 out of 10. And my second goal is to hit 50k by the end of the year, which actually seems within reach. So thank you guys for making that a possibility. Like, you guys are awesome, as always. My third goal is to graduate. I honestly just put that there so I can feel a little bit of satisfaction of like checking off a box for pushing through this hell of a school year. And my fourth goal is to have a smidgen of an idea of what I want to do in my future, or even just to narrow down my options, I don't know. And my fifth goal is to find a better job. Now, this doesn't mean a super well-paying job, and it might even pay less than my current one, but... All I need is some kind of retail job that isn't physically taxing or something a little safer than the food industry because I've lost count of how many times customers have come into my job all up in my face without a mask or just wearing it wrong, like under the nose, or they've just been really condescending to me. So like trying to avoid that, trying to avoid the negative energy. And my sixth goal for 2021 is to develop my brand as an artist. I want to make more earrings, stickers, prints, etc. Just to dip my toes into the art industry. And I do have three goals that I was able to check off already this year. Which are get at least one sponsorship, get monetized on YouTube, and get accepted into one college. So yay, giving myself a pat on the back, that's really cool. Feel free to share your 2021 goals in the comments because seeing other people's goals is really inspiring to me. Plus it's just fun to see what other people want to accomplish this year. Moving on to a little background on this piece. A main inspiration for the material I used and the kind of fuzzy vibe I was going for is most definitely Holly Warburton. Her work is so warm and cozy and I wanted to make my own version of what it means to be comfortable in my own little space. I don't believe she uses crayons, a lot of her work is like digital or paintings I think, but to me crayons capture that fuzzy feeling. This piece is just about laying in bed, playing Animal Crossing, because that's a cozy feeling that I wanted to embody. It's just a moment where I can like drift away and not have to think about life. 
I can kind of just, I don't know, sit with myself in my own little world and just think about nothing except for Animal Crossing, I guess. If you have a good eye, you may have noticed that the paper is warped. So, um, fun story, fun fact, my basement flooded one night and all the paper that was leaning against a wall in my mom's studio or any paper that was like sitting on the floor got warped because of the water, so her giant paper pad used for this piece was a victim of that flood and the only giant paper we have that wasn't super destroyed, so it didn't bother me too much, but the little perfectionist living in my brain kind of despises it. If you're curious about what my sustained investigation is, this year I wanted to illustrate things that are comfortable and uncomfortable in my life. So for the comfortable things, I wanted to embody cozy feelings or moments that I cherished, or just things that generally make me comfortable. And then for the uncomfortable half, I did things like warp the reference pictures and add eyes in the background to contribute to that effect. I'm really enjoying this year's investigation. I just wish that I could do more paintings and mixed media, but alas, I have to do a drawing portfolio this year. For the next project, I'm planning on illustrating my job, like the back room or something, trying to display an uncomfortable feeling of being a cog in the machine of capitalism as a result of my need to feel productive and worthy at age 17. It's caffeine, caffeine break time! It's caffeine break, break time! I thought I'd take a moment to appreciate some other art things that are happening right now. For the few people still participating because a lot of people bailed recently, you guys are doing amazing on the art telephone even though we still aren't even halfway done. Uh... But seriously, I'm loving the progress that people are making and seeing the differences in style and subject matter of the slowly but surely evolving piece is really amazing. There's so much talent within this little community of artists, and I'm really proud of bringing people together to create something truly beautiful. Oh my goodness, yesterday was the first day I walked outside without socks or any outerwear, and I was just able to take a deep breath and breathe in semi-warm air. That feeling holds a really special place in my heart, especially after it's been cold for a while. Based off my mutuals posts, it's definitely been snowing up north, and down here we barely got a solid layer of anything that even remotely looks like snow, but I really do appreciate the weather down here sometimes. Okay, this was really weird, but one time I was driving and it was like 30 degrees Fahrenheit as I left the house and it immediately started to warm up like 50 degrees when I was driving and then little drops of sleet started lightly flicking at my windshield. It never snows down here, so that was really off-putting in the first place, but like right after it started warming up drastically? Has that happened to any of y'all? Because I'm genuinely curious, it's a really weird phenomenon and I need an explanation. Going back to the piece real quick, using crowns was kind of difficult to adjust to. I had to figure out how to blend them correctly, and I'm so comfortable using colored pencils, so I just kind of applied that knowledge I already had, but I really should have spent more time experimenting with the crayons and figuring out how they blend and how exactly they work. I did learn that I have to completely erase the pencil sketch or else the crayons will smear it and make the graphite show up a lot darker for some reason, so that's something I have to keep in mind. To be honest, using crayons and other cheap art supplies is not limiting at all from my experience. If you haven't used inexpensive art materials before, especially for AP art if you're taking it, I would highly recommend doing that. A big part of the AP art process is experimenting and showing how you got to the final product. When you use cheap materials, you worry less about wasting a valuable material, similar to how sketchbooks work, you know? Like, if you're using a cheap sketchbook, you worry less about wasting high quality paper. I need to get into the habit of exploring myself, which is definitely a goal I have for this year. Seeing a lot of really good realistic colored pencil work and paintings is inspiring to me, but I have found recently that accuracy isn't always necessary if I'm trying to like really go wild in my art and truly express myself. So yeah, this year I want to expand my style and go beyond trying to do realism. I want to do more ink and little doodle looking pieces because I'm super inspired by a lot of those YouTubers like Paloma the Peach and Cheyenne Barton who make that kind of style of work. 
I already have my little devil cat lady, so I think I want to like give her a name and a personality and a backstory and go from there. Making stickers is also something that I want to do. And I've already made a few designs that were originally going to be like flash tattoo designs, but stickers are definitely more doable right now for me because I cannot tattoo at the moment. I am underage. But I really hope I can learn to tattoo soon. I may invest in like stick and poke equipment or a tattoo gun and all that fake skin stuff in the near future. Super cool. Big things. We are almost at a wrap. For the background, I was getting sick of this piece, so I just did some dark blue and indigo colors for a solid kind of backdrop, just cause I was just so done. Real quick, y'all know what time it is already. It's time for today's artist shout out. So today we got Na Nana? Nana? I am not sure how to pronounce that, but she's a UK based artist with this beautiful digital style. Her work has a lot of these earthy tones and it's such a vibe. I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love y'all so, 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 so much. And I'll hopefully see you next week for the seven day sketchbook challenge. I will be uploading every day. So that's going to be interesting to say the least. All right. Bye bye. I love you.